Hey, what is up? What is going on? Arvin Ram Krishna here, and today we're going to be drawing a scorpion. So let's go. This is all going to be sped up here, and I am using a free software here called Krita. And uh, this is really a really cool piece of the software. I, I, I especially like uh, using Krita because it's got this nice prisma color pencil type of quality to it. And what I've got here is just like a craft paper. Uh, texture here in the background uh, that I start with my drawing and what I'm doing here is that uh, any designer or artist should be engaged in drawing as many things as you can possible that means anytime you're trying to design something pay attention to what nature has to offer and our study here is just going to be a scorpion and what I'm doing here is I'm blocking out my shapes and all I'm doing is just using just notice how I just block out basic shapes like ellipses and circles and that sort of thing and just sort of laying down the groundwork uh, for my drawing and all I'm trying to do is just to uh, to establish doing simplifying the forms a little bit because if you don't simplify the forms then things get to be a, a little bit too complicated and hard for you to sort of dissect the shapes. Something I never realized when I was younger when I was doing this stuff because I thought, hey, you got to start off with all the details and that's exactly what you should not do is start off with details. And it took me quite some time to understand that fact and to, to get into the habit of just drawing the basic shapes first. And curiously, I'm doing this even with my six-year-old son who is uh, showing quite a bit of an aptitude for drawing and I'm doing the same thing with him saying hey buddy you know you don't want to start drawing things with full detail because it's going to be hard for you to understand so now he's blocking out these shapes and I'm amazed at what he's able to do and so it's the same principle for anybody else if you're if you're trying to draw something complicated just try to block out and simplify the forms so now I've got kind of my silhouette here. I'm drawing all these, slowly adding a little bit of the detail and just shading things up here a little bit. And what's going to be fun, or what I really enjoy about this, is just the the software that I'm using. Just that Prisma color feel is really quite unique for this. And I, <laughs> you can tweak the brushes too as well. You can do a lot of different things when you're when you're using this when you're using the software just kind of like you do in Photoshop if you want to tweak your brushes you can do the same thing over here anyway I'm digressing here all I'm doing is just shading things up putting a little bit of value to this I wish I had my uh, photo reference here to show you so you can kind of see how I'm laying things out but but still I think it's still pretty good to, to just see the methodology behind the whole thing Adding a little bit of shading here, trying to get a little bit more 3D look to it. And I think when we start to do these kind of activities, it's important to recognize that, hey, you can pull any kind of element out of these things. And I think maybe in some future I should try to, to, to do something design related with a, uh, an object. So if you had a, a Hot Wheels car. Or if you had something that was like a scorpion, you know, shape of a scorpion, the scorpion car or hot wheel or something like that. Now, as I go through this whole process, uh, after this, I'm, I'm going to even get into drawing or even rendering this thing up. So just make sure that uh, you keep coming back to this channel. And at some point, I'm going to be posting up uh, a follow up to this video where I kind of spice this whole thing up with. Uh, some cool looking uh, colors here. I'm going to follow up with some finishing touches here. I'm going to pop all this stuff out with a little bit of white pencil. So just uh, as I just finish the shading or shadows here, I'm just going to change the color here in a little bit. And see what it's like to, to just pop it out and just give it a little silhouette flavor to it.
All right, there we go. I had to put this on a different layer. Now I'm just gonna just go through and silhouette the entire scorpion here. And since I'm doing this on another layer, it's nice experimentation. If I don't like it, I can just take it off, remove it completely. So you don't have to wait around. Part of that is all finished up for you. And we're just coming here uh, to the end. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you come back to this channel and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. We'll see you next time on Driven to Draw. Have a good one.